Hello CNCers, today we're going to be assembling the release trigger for the MK2 Dashu. In the box you'll find everything needed to get your Dashu connected to your long mill. Some assembly is required for the Dashu, but it's very easy. In the kit you'll find the hardware bag, the Dashu with pre-installed magnets, and the Dashu mount. Set aside the box and the mount and open the hardware bag. From the bag, you're going to remove the steel trigger mechanism. Okay, separate one of the springs and put that aside as well. There are two sizes of nylon lock washers. Remove one of the smaller sizes and set aside. And finally, remove one of the small silver bolts. Set aside the hardware bag with the dust shoe mount. To install the bolt, you'll need a three millimeter Allen key. This Allen key was included with your long mill kit. Take the small nylon lock nut and insert it into the small slot by the top magnet. The nut should be inserted upside down. It can be a tight fit, so use a small tool to help push it into place. If it's too tight, take a small file to open the slot for the nut to fit. The nut should be fully inserted. Look through the top of the dust shoe to confirm the bolt can thread into the nut correctly. Insert the spring onto the small tab located on the side of the trigger. The other side of the spring sits in a small recess on the top of the dust shoe. Make sure the flange is pointing up on the trigger. Insert the small bolt in through the trigger and into the nut. With the Allen key, tighten the bolt but don't over tighten, otherwise the trigger won't work. Test the trigger mechanism to make sure that it is springing back as it should. If it isn't, slightly loosen the bolt and then try again. Now it's time to install the router mount. From the hardware bag, remove two of the black bolts. Remember that we had two different sizes of nylon lock nuts? Now we're going to utilize the two larger ones. The mounting bracket will utilize the top hole and will align with one of the holes on the bottom. We'll start at the top. Put one of the bolts through the gantry and the mounting bracket and then fasten by hand the nylon lock nut. Here's a quick tip to make installing the bottom nut a little easier. Take yourself a piece of masking tape or whatever tape you have on hand and apply it to the wrench that comes with your log mill kit. Now place the nut inside the wrench with the tapered end pointing down. Slide the nut in the wrench behind the gantry plate. Take the other screw and in the bottom hole of the router mount, find the matching hole in the gantry plate and push it through. Align with the nut and tighten by hand. You'll use the 4mm Allen key that came with your long mill kit. It's the larger one. Turn clockwise to make sure that the nut is seated onto the bolt. 
Now just fasten tightly the bottom and top hardware. We're going to fast forward a little bit and uh, put the dust shoe onto the mount. Depress the trigger to push the magnets off the steel plate, making the removal of the dust shoe much easier. One thing we want to do is double check and make sure that the dust shoe is centered within the mount. In this image, you can see that it's not quite centered and we need to adjust that. Loosen the two bolts and that will allow left to right adjustment. Here's where the washers that are in the hardware bag are going to come into play. The washers are going to be installed in between the router mount and the gantry plate. The washer acts as a spacer, allowing the dust chute to move a little bit forward, making sure that the bit is practically in the center of the opening of the dust chute. Don't forget to tighten when centered. As you can see, the bit is now centered in the opening of the dust chute and you are ready to go. More tips, tricks, and resources can be found at cnc.com.